everyone! Welcome to Christmas time with Taylor! I like to do all sorts of activities, like puzzles and games. So today I thought it would be fun to do a Christmas crossword puzzle. This one is with picture clues, and it'll help us learn to spell. Oh look! There's the crossword puzzle. That looks fun. I'll show you one clue at a time, and then we can fill in the answers together on the puzzle. Let's try it. Here's the first clue. Ooh, I know who that is. It's Santa Claus! Hmm, it doesn't look like there's enough space for Santa Claus. Maybe let's just try Santa. S A N T A. It fits. That's how you spell Santa. One down is Santa. Here's clue number two. This one goes across. Ooh, those are really fun to build in the snow. Do you know what it is? It's a snowman. Let's see if snowman fits in our crossword puzzle. S N O W M A N. It fits perfectly. Two across is snowman. Before we look at clue number three, we know it has to start with the letter S because the first box is filled in from snowman. Let's take a look at our clue. Oh, those hang above your fireplace and Santa fills them with all kinds of goodies. That's right, it's a stocking. That starts with an S. S T O C K I N G. That's a long word. It fits great. Three down is stocking. Here's clue number four. This one's a cross. Oh, you wear those on your hands, especially when it's cold outside. It's a mitten. You wear mittens on your hands. Let's see if the word mitten fits in our crossword puzzle. M I T T E N. It fits and it intersects with our other words perfectly. Four across is mitten. Let's look at clue number five. This one is down in our puzzle. Ooh, I've seen one of those before. My mom usually puts one on the door at Christmas time. What do you call those? Hmm. That's right, it's a wreath. Ooh, I bet that fits in our puzzle. Let's try to spell the word wreath. W R E A T H. That spells wreath and it fits really good. Five down is wreath. Here's our next clue. Six down. Oh, I like to play with those. It's a bell, a Christmas bell. Let's put the word bell in our crossword puzzle. B E L L. Oh wait, we still have a missing letter. Hmm, let's look at the clue again. I know, there's two bells. That means we need to add an S to the word bell to make it bells. S. That spells bells, B-E-L-L-S. Oh wow, I'm glad I had your help on that one. Six down is bells. Here's clue number seven. It goes across in our puzzle. There's a really famous one of these. His name is Rudolph. What kind of animal is Rudolph? 
You got it, he's a reindeer. I bet the word reindeer fits perfectly in our puzzle. Let's try it. R E I N D E E R. That spells reindeer. Wow, that's a really long word. Seven across is reindeer. Let's look at clue number eight across. Oh, I know you know what that is. It's a Christmas tree. <gasps> well, the word Christmas tree is too big for our puzzle, but I bet the word tree will fit. T R E. Hey, look, our other E's already filled in. That spells tree. It intersects with the E on the word wreath. Eight across is tree. Here's clue nine. It goes across. Oh, this is one of the best parts of Christmas morning, huh? It's a present. Everybody loves presents. Let's put the word present in our crossword puzzle. Wait a second. There's only four spaces. And the word present is much longer than four letters. Hmm, there must be another word. Let's look at the clue again. Can you think of another word for present? What's that? The word gift. Oh, that is a great word. I bet that fits. G I. F, and the T's already filled in from the word wreath. That spells gift. Nine across is the word gift. Before we look at our last clue, we know from our puzzle that it starts with the letter H because the H is already filled in. Now let's take a look at our clue. Ooh, that's a little bit harder. Do you know what that is? It looks like a plant of some sort. I know, it's holly. Holly starts with the letter H. Let's see if it fits. H-O-L-L-Y. We did it. 10 across is holly. And that completes our Christmas crossword puzzle. Oh wow, I couldn't have done that without you. Oh, that was so much fun. I love doing puzzles, especially ones with Christmas words. We did 10 different clues with 10 different words. That's really good. Thank you for having Christmas time with Taylor. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Hey parents. I have so many other fun Christmas videos, like Christmas crafts and Christmas songs. Subscribe to my channel so you can see them all. And sign up for my email list at teatimewithtayla.com so you can get future updates.